I can't read. I can't watch the rest of this. Jordan Peterson owned me. Okay. Now we can talk about the tsunami. Look at this shit. The world farted earlier today, folks. Near Tonga. Okay? And apparently the explosion was so fucking insane. Tonga's Tonga Tonga volcano just had one of the most violent volcano eruptions ever captured on a satellite. Okay? And now, uh, that explosion was so fucking impactful. Here, let's take a look at it. Breaking news. There's video. Hold on. Before we look at that, though, I, I, before CNN's coverage of it, I'll just show you this explosion, okay? Look at this shit, boys. Where the fuck? Man, Ian fucking posts so much. Jesus Christ, it is hard to find... An older tweet of his. Oh, here it is. Look at this. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Money. Fuck. Alu. Alu. <sighs> yep. That shit is crazy, bro. Advisory is now in effect for the entire U.S. West Coast and True. Alaska. This comes after an underwater volcanic eruption overnight in the South Pacific. Look at this video. Incredible satellite images showing a massive ash cloud and shock waves. The eruption happened near the island nation of Tonga. A tsunami, as you can see in this video, has already hit the largest island there, sending waves flooding into the capital, inundating the coastline. CNN's Allison Chinchar joined- By the way, this happened in Washington already. Just now live from the CNN Weather Center. Uh, and Allison, for viewers that are living or near the area- You could hear the blast 1,300 miles away. Put this in the perspective of the strength of the volcanic explosion in Tonga by my, for my American friends. It was heard in Wellington, New Zealand, some 1,300 miles away. That would be like in Florida and hear an explosion in North Dakota. Look at the shock waves in the satellite images, dude. It's fucking kind of dope, but Area also terrifying. Advisory, what should they expect? Is there a chance this could become a tsunami warning? I don't think it's going to become a tsunami warning because we've looked at what it's done in other countries and even other states, Hawaii, for example. So we kind of have an idea of what to expect with this particular system um, as the waves kind of make their way across the ocean. <clears throat> Again, here's what we're looking at, the tsunami threat. All these areas you see in yellow are under that tsunami advisory. It's about 14 million people. Now we're expecting about one to two feet um, of that increase of waves from the tsunami, the timing between 7.30 a.m. Pacific time and 10 a.m. Pacific time. And it's a wide variety because well, that's a pretty big wide advisory when you talk about how many states are involved here. So it ranges anywhere from Homer, Alaska to expecting about 9.05 a.m. Alaska time, Monterey about 7.35 a.m. Pacific time. In fact, right now we've already started to see. Here it is, tsunami from Tonga volcano eruption starting to cause minor flooding in Santa Cruz, California. Just remember, chat, like, you joke about this and you say, it's fucking, you know, two feet tsunami, Omega Law, dog. That happened because of a fart thousands of miles away, okay? Just understand how insane that is. Like, that, that's just, this is, you know, that's a fart. Thousands of miles away, and it increased the water levels to a degree where there's like water damage and flooding occurring thousands of fucking miles away, dude. And for the record, two to three feet, Omega Lol, 
What do you think climate change's most damaging impact is going to be in the fucking short term? Two to three feet of water makes all of these areas unlivable. You know that, right? Like, that's the whole point. All of those houses now, if that was permanent, would no longer be... I mean, that's Florida, okay? Two to three... Put, put Florida... Put two to three uh, feet of water in Florida and see what the fuck happens, okay? These Taco Bell wings ain't shit. Oh, God damn it, dude. Anyway, let's continue. See the very first wave begin to push into Monterey. Then we'll start at about 20 minutes or so, or up to around 7.50, excuse me, a.m. at Los Angeles, 8.10 around San Francisco. Those that are in Pacific times. Again, Hawaii also has a tsunami advisory out, but they've already seen some observed waves come through, not just one, but multiple of the islands, most of them ranging between the one to three foot range. That's very similar to what we are. Dude, I wish I could see what the heart of that explosion looked like, like how tall the fucking waves were. You know what I mean? Can you imagine? It's like larger than anything you can comprehend. Just a fucking seawall right in front of you. Higher than fucking multiple, multiple empire, uh, multiple fucking uh, world trade centers. Like one that you can see. From one that you can quite literally see from a satellite. Like, think about that. Like, you can see that explosion. Oh. Like, that, from this level, you cannot see fucking buildings. You can't see, uh, like, a, you can't see the Empire State Building. You can't. That's how major that shit is. It must have been so huge, dude. Look at that. It's crazy. Stunning. Stunning explosion. We're expecting along the west coast of the U.S., California, Washington, Oregon, and Alaska. I get it. One foot may not seem like it's that high, but it is enough if you were standing on the shoreline to wash you off, to wipe you off your feet and knock you down. Do not go surfing. Don't go stand at the shoreline and take selfies. It's just simply too dangerous. Now, what? It's the size of Germany. The blast radius was the size of nearly oh, like here it is compared to the size uh, of of the country of germany wow crazy dude One to three feet, while it is on the low end, it still can push a lot of water right there along the shoreline. This is the video that we've been showing from NOAA. Again, the satellite imagery, there you see the eruption itself. But around the edges here, what you can actually see are the shock waves that were created from the eruption itself. Here's a slower image of it. Again, there's the eruption. And then notice on the outer side, a lot of those shock waves reverberating out from it. This is actually from the lightning setup. Um, on that on that particular satellite there again it just kind of gives Wait. reverberating out from it this is actually from the lightning setup um on that on that particular satellite there again it just kind of gives you the slower motion to show you what it's been doing there again impacts from this particular one this happened on the 15th of december at 5 27 local time about 11 p.m eastern time they had some pretty significant tsunami waves in tonga itself but again those waves tend to get a little bit smaller the farther out it goes through the pacific ocean which is why boris for states like california Oregon, Washington, and even Alaska. We're only expecting about one to two feet for those states.
And even if the threat is minimal, still a good idea, as you said, for people to be careful if they're near the coast. Uh, Allison yes. Chinchart, thank you so much. Of course, we will be checking in uh, with you again later this hour on that major winter storm that's hitting much of the United States what? this weekend. So thank you for that, Allison. I now want to bring in Robin Andrews. He this is fake, right? No shot. This is real. No, this isn't real. This is like an old video. No shot. This is like a much, much smaller. This has to be like a much smaller explosion from an older video. Helicopter at Orange Beach telling people to stay away. We gotta fucking hit the waves, dog. Like, fucking gnarly, dude. These fucking waves are freaking gnarly, brother. I need to fucking hit that shit. I'm feeling fucking pitted, bro. Like, get the fuck out of here. This is a movie, by the way. This is like a, literally a dystopian fucking movie that we live in currently. Dude, we really did forget about Yellowstone. Not me, but chat did. Chat forgot about Yellowstone, dude. We forgore. Yeah, time to remember, dude. What? The violent eruption of a few hours ago from the Honga Tonga. Honga Ha'apai. Volcano captured by satellites goes west in Imawari 8. Oh, you can't see shit, dude. Like, the fact that they really capture this, oh my god, I want to see it. I don't even know what the distance would have to be for someone to be able to capture the size of that. You know what I mean? Like, how the fuck would you capture that? Like you would have to be like over there, you know what I mean? If you're able to capture it, you're close enough to die. Just fucking have a drone on it at all times, you know what I mean? So we can fucking figure it out. I even have come across active streamers that didn't even know what Yellowstone is. I would just like to point out that the volcano is overdue to explode and is right here in the continental US. Also way, 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 way fucking bigger. This video was made possible. Bro, we just said let we forgot about Yellowstone and this motherfucker's like, time to worry about Yellowstone. Okay, let's finish this and then we'll do He's Yellowstone. He's a science journalist, a volcanologist. He's also the author of the book Super Volcanoes, what they reveal about the Earth and the worlds beyond. Robin, we appreciate you sharing your expertise with us this morning. Those satellite images are really stunning. Explain to our viewers what's happening in these images and, and how these volcanic eruptions can lead to multiple tsunami warnings and advisories. Yeah, so the first thing to point out is Dude, I can't believe I just made fun of the mountain time zone so aggressively, and now look where we're at. I just, I hate this. I literally started the day ripping into the mountain time zone Andes, talking about their fucking bullshit fake time zone that nobody cares about that four people live in. And right now, the mountain time zone Andes are like, oh yeah? Guess what, dude? Hey, have fun swimming underwater in your fucking seven gorillion dollar mansion, dumbass. I'm gonna be up in the fucking mountain, bitch. Can't wait to have, uh, you know, the, my waterside resort. 
surprised that this part of the world, it's like no surprise that there is volcanic activity happening. I mean, I think a couple of years ago, a, an island was destroyed by an eruption and then it kind of built a new island out of that eruption. So you, you get to see this kind of destructive and creative process happening at the same time. And as you can see with these like rather jaw dropping satellite images is that uh, sometimes when you have um, eruptions uh, mingling with water in this way, you can get quite explosive events. And this kind of this kind of boom that everyone's seeing on the satellite imagery, it's literally um, it, it's a very large explosive part of this eruption that's kind of pushed the atmosphere out of the way. Essentially, it's not that different to, you know, to be fair, if Yellowstone pops off, Mountain Zone, Andes are fucked, but so are all of us. So. I mean, if Yellowstone goes off, it's over. It's GG's. You know, we all die. An enormous, you know, um, human-made uh, explosive in that sense, in that you're just pushing all the air out of the way. So that's kind of... What you're seeing here a rather large like explosive sort of pulse of this kind of ongoing eruption which has been going on since mid-december um and as for why that kind of created a tsunami i think scientists aren't quite sure exactly what happened here but in order to get a tsunami you need to displace a lot of water uh very quickly um so perhaps part of the volcano sort of uh fell off underwater um and just sort of pushed um seawater out of the way um but People are looking into these images and they'll come up with a more concrete explanation. But yeah, it's not surprising that a, a, a violent uh, volcanic eruption from a sort of underwater, partially underwater volcano has caused this kind of tsunami. It's just fortunate that it's not worse at the moment, although people on um, in the archipelago are obviously seeing it slightly more severely. So obviously thoughts are, are with them at the moment. Hopefully everyone's safe. Yeah, we certainly hope so as we're watching this video of uh, the shoreline getting inundated and the capital of Tonga uh, getting flooded. Um, mm. You mentioned that this part of the world, is this the, the, the so-called ring of fire in the Pacific where volcanoes are constantly erupting and just that this one is underwater? Yeah, so the, the ring of fire is kind of, it's, 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 it, it kind of sounds like all these volcanoes are kind of connected in some way, but it's more just like, someone describing the shape of the volcanoes going around the Pacific, essentially where you have two tectonic plates interacting in various ways. Like, you know, if you have, especially have one tectonic plate going under the other, as you have here, um, it, it, it sets up a sort of chemical system. It's very good for developing volcanoes that often have quite explosive activity. Um, so yeah, this part of the world is known for being very volcanically active. It's always kind of volcanically active in some way. It's just that when a volcano does something particularly violent, especially if it's near people, we tend to pay more attention to it sort of thing. So there's always some sort of volcanism happening in this part of the world. Uh, it just happens that this eruption at the moment is, you know, um, a particularly energetic one. Yeah, no, no question about that. A, a professor from the University of Auckland told the New Zealand Science Media Center that research indicates that when there is this kind of eruption episode, that it could last for weeks or months. It could potentially trigger other blasts. Uh, how do you feel about that assessment? Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds, I mean, um, you know, that, that sounds perfectly reasonable to me. It's the sort of thing that is actually quite hard to pin down sometimes. I, 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 I know um, your viewers would be probably familiar with the eruption that's happening in La Palma in the Canary Islands, and that, that, that began a several months back and it was uh, unclear at the time like is this going to go on for a week or for months or and actually one of the hardest questions in volcanology uh, is how long will an eruption last because it's actually you know volcanologists getting much better at knowing when an eruption is probably going to start more or less but actually working out when it ends is really tricky because you can't really see how much magma is being supplied from like the really deep parts of the planet up to the uh, deep parts of the crust up to the surface so it's really hard to tell but but it's good to be cautious and scientists generally uh, say you know based on historical evidence of past eruptions these things can go on for days weeks or months sort of thing but yeah it's to be seen really it's um it's it's kind of hard it's much harder to pinpoint when an eruption is going to end relative to when it's probably going to begin possible by all right get ready to get the first fucking freaked out